Hi and welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture you're going to learn how to set up Python in a Mac computer. Uh, so if you are a Windows user, uh, you can skip this lecture because you have a Windows computer. And we explained how to set up Python on Windows previously in the previous lectures. And the instructions will also work for Linux computers because a Mac is based on Unix. And so, uh, let's begin. Uh, the first thing you uh, need to know is that you already have Python on your Mac. So Python comes shipped with Mac by default. And let's go and open uh, Python. I'm going to click here and then type terminal and then open the terminal app. So terminal is equivalent of a command line on Windows. And here now let's go ahead and open Python. You can simply called Python and if you see these three arrows there that means you were able to start a Python session. So good news. However, um, if you look here you'll see this is Python 2.7 so it's a bit outdated and the current version of Python is Python 3 so it's uh, recommended that you actually install Python 3 on your Mac or Linux instead of using uh, the old version Python 2.7 uh, because we're going to use a lot of libraries later on in the course and some libraries may not be compatible uh, for Python 2.7 um, you can still work with two, Python 2.7 if you take the responsibility to fix errors uh, and uh, compatibility issues that may arise as you uh, learn Python. So it's going to be maybe some extra work. Uh, however, I advise you to install Python 3. So I'm going to exit Python 2, uh, the Python 2 session, exit and two brackets and you go again back to the terminal. To install Python 3, open a browser and uh, then you should go to python.org then go to downloads and then install the latest version of Python which should be shown here so Python 3.6 is the current version and uh, that should download Python I can see this bar in here and so please don't uninstall Python 2.7 if you are planning to install Python 3.6 uh, because Python 2.7 is uh, connected to your operating system so if you uninstall it you may harm your operating system so you may get some messy errors there uh, so simply ignore Python 2.7 uh, so leave it be don't uninstall it and simply click on this package that you have just downloaded you should see the installation wizard so simply go and click continue 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 again and yeah, read the license if you like I'm going to go and click on agree and then install provide uh, your username there your Mac username click on install software and so finally the installation was smooth and it was successful uh, click on close yeah, I'm going to move it to trash so the uh, installation package and now go ahead and uh, go back to your terminal so again if you uh, enter Python you're going to get Python 2.7 uh, so how do you get Python 3 well exit and simply click Python 3 just like that execute and you'll see that this is Python 3.6 and yeah good luck and so normally this is the command you'll be using on Mac uh, which means whenever I type Python on Windows you're going to type Python 3 on Mac or Linux as easy as that and so uh, now you have Python installed and here you can do operations You know, you get the idea. 
However, please note that uh, what we're doing here, we're um, programming interactively. So we're simply writing some lines of code, but these lines will not be saved anywhere if we write them in this interactive session. Mm, so what we want to do is we want to write scripts of code. So Python files, which we can save, uh, we can save the code and we can execute all the lines at once. And we'll be doing that in the next lecture. So please follow me and yep, I hope it worked for you and I'll talk to you in the next lectures.